Vesuvius explodes. Italy's historic volcano bursts into the most fearsome and devastating eruption in 70 years. Over the fiery crater, a great pall of smoke and lava dust spirals into the sky, a giant specter of endless grief for the Italian people. Suffering under many years of brutal fascism, then German occupation, then Allied bombing, then the devastation of battle, now it is Vesuvius. At least once in every century of the Christian era, it is hurled disaster. The city of Pompeii was buried when the huge mountain first thundered into volcanic life in the year 79 AD. Thousands of Italians perished. Excavations have revealed their tragic story. This was a pleasure resort of wealthy Romans almost 1900 years ago. Rising 4,000 feet above the fertile plain of Campania, Vesuvius lazily pours forth a harmless curtain of smoke. Naples, 10 miles from the slumbering peak, lies in comparative safety except for the deluge of volcanic ash that will blanket the city. Then, with a few warning rumbles, Vesuvius belches fire, flame, and molten rock in a fearsome spectacle. Tons of ash and cinders are borne skyward, while fiery lava streams down into the doomed valley. The overflowing crater erupts with a mounting temperature of liquid steel close to the summit which carries its fiery heat long after it loses incandescence. The Italian people are stunned. The crushing mass of lava moves relentlessly toward towns in the valley, an all-consuming force from 30 to 90 feet high, throwing off terrific heat and sulfurous fumes as it ignites everything combustible in its path. Venturesome youngsters linger too long in the danger zone and have to run for it. The wall of lava sweeps on. Frightened Italians try barricades of brush, hoping to check the cooling edge of the flood until it may solidify and build up a dam. But man's weak efforts against this monstrous force are hopeless. Mushrooming into the sky, the enormous gray-black pall of smoke fills the air with cinders for miles around. From fiery regions far deeper in the earth than any mine ever dug by man, the hot lava is a reminder that the earth was once just such a molten mass, gradually cooling until it formed an outer shell. This phenomenon is simply a weak spot in the shell. From the flaming depth, the liquid rock is forced to the surface by the pressure of the Earth's crust. As it boils from the crater of Vesuvius, lava may have a temperature of more than 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And in this major eruption, it flows, carries the terrific heat far down the slopes of the mountain. It carries a crushing weight to doomed cities and towns. Salerno, 17 miles away, is buried in lava dust three feet in depth. An army bulldozer helps to clear streets, and soldiers, aided by the people, labor to enable military traffic to move. A costly disaster is soon apparent. The people of San Sebastiano are warned to leave their homes as the moving wall of molten rock grinds to the very edge of the city. There is time only to save a few pitiful possessions. The burning mass is already threatening to engulf them as it comes on at three feet a minute, and nothing stops the flow. The revered image of San Sebastiano's patron saint is festooned with offerings. The faithful may leave worldly things behind, but not a blessed statue. So long as the eruption continues, the catastrophe grows. With ever the chance that new rivers of fire will flood from the crater. The moving mass is gathering its forces now to engulf a city. No puny structures built by man can slow the tempo of its crushing march. Already, smoke and dust from crashing walls are seen as fire spread with the flow of the lava tide into the heart of the city itself. Its people are appalled. These are their homes. Hoping against hope, others wait until it's imperative to move on. 
War has seared much of Italy with half the land the battlefield. But a stricken people see before them forces of destruction more devastating than the worst that man has ever devised. The eruption continues, swelling the lava flow, and all throughout the second day, dense clouds of stifling black smoke dust billow upward, heavily laden with hot cinders. People in another doomed town are warned to get out. The molten rock sears everything it touches. Now the destruction spreads to Massa di Soma. It buys with war for diabolical supremacy. Orphans of war, hardened to bombing and shelling, are benumbed by this new terror. But so are their elders as they watch the drama of a perishing city. The unyielding tide of molten rock is accompanied by the continuous rumble of crashing walls. Faces reflect the tragic scene. Ruin spreads throughout a city built within two miles of the volcano's peak and ignoring its tragic history. They move to safe havens, but they'll come back. Each generation seems to forget this horror, though once in every century, the cycle of the volcano's activity seems certain to reach a period of unpredictable danger. <laughs> 